and welcome to eSports. The this is the first round of a brand new season. As you know, there is a rally happening tonight, starting a new season here in Monte Carlo. So keep watching. But before then, we've got an eSports round, and it's the launch of a brand new season of eSports as well. And we're better than Larascas here in Monte Carlo to kick off a brand new season. Such a historic place. This is where the very first rally started, 1911. So we've got a lot to look forward to, a whole new season, and it's a wild card event, invitation only, but the winner of this event wins a golden ticket into the season final at the end of the year. But before we meet all the drivers and see some action from here tonight. Let's have a look back at the 2019 season. The final was in Llandidno, and this is how it all went. Welcome, everyone, to the eSports WRC 2019 final. The very best WRC drivers in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Laurent Blanc, Nexel, John Armstrong, Subi, Dylan Noel. Four finalists who are ready to compete across three specially chosen stages. John keeps the car really clean. He's not really drifting that much. Next, all way more aggressive in the corners, a bit more flashy uh, in his driving style. Two champions then that we have on board already. John Armstrong is last year's champion. Nexel from the year before. They certainly know how to handle the pressure. Really, it's God really wide. <laughs> we are heading to Rally Turkey, which was actually the previous round in the WRC. And there's Nexel that tries to get away from the pack, try to build that lead. No, oh, that no was so close. Oh, oh, that it's was an way too far. Brilliant run, a really committed run from Nexel here. He's going to be exhausted by the time he finishes this stage. Oh, oh. that's it. He just caught one of the stones on the right. It is the final stage of Esports WRC for 2019, and we head to the iconic Rally Monte Carlo. John Armstrong is definitely someone that always has a chance, no matter how it looks. in front. Bit you far see. Off, oh, is. and it's a roll. Closing then meters for Nexel in 2019. He is almost at the finish. There we go. And there line. we go. <laughs> Over the line and what a relief for him. Nexel is the champion for 2019. How does that feel, hearing that from a crowd? Really good, really good. Oh, it's, uh, I can't believe it. Uh, I've done so much effort to, to, to be here and to fight uh, against uh, John, who is really, really good. So it was really cool to, to fight against him. And I managed to do it, and I'm really happy. And here he is, our reigning eSports champion, Nexel. Congratulations on last year, firstly. Thank you. The emotion was e uh, plain to see there. That was quite a final. Yes, yeah, a lot to beat uh, John Armstrong, a real driver with a wheel. It was uh, an amazing feeling. And it was quite a year for you as well. You had an opportunity to jump into the car with Danny Sordo and, uh, and be a co-driver. What was that like? Yeah, it was an amazing feeling. I couldn't believe how cool was it and it was just awesome. Uh, so thank you, Danny. So two times champion now, 2017 and 2019. So two Hyundais uh, in the garage, nice prizes. Tell us, what does it actually take to win this championship? Uh, a lot of, of effort, uh, of training, uh, of course, because uh, it's like uh, 20 hours per week uh, of training. So yes, yeah, so it's a lot. 
Well worth it, and uh, congratulations once again. Well, earlier today, we had some real World Rally drivers who popped in here to have a go on these simulators, and this is how they got on. At Monaco's famous Rascas Bar, which overlooks the final corner of the Grand Prix circuit, World Rally's class of 2020 gathered Thursday to show this season's eSports competitors the expert way to tackle Rally Monte Carlo on the official WRC game. New world champion Oik Tanak got the chance to put in some final last-minute kilometres of testing in the virtual version of his new charger, the Hyundai i20. And then it was a competitive head-to-head -head where the Estonian's co-driver, Martin Yavioya, tackled the tarmac against Gus Greensmith, Elvin Evans and Takamoto Katsuta in their respective rides. The Monte Carlo stages represented in the game are tricky, replete with all their weather-related unpredictability. This weekend is not just the launch of the World Rally Championship 2020. It also represents the start of WRC Esports Season 5, where gamers compete on WRC 8, the latest iteration of the official game of the World Rally Championship, to qualify for the grand final at Rally Finland in August. But for these drivers, it's the last chance to push their limits without consequences. That's how the drivers got on earlier today. But I'm delighted to say now that I've been joined by René Butler, who is the font of all knowledge, uh, eSports expert. Explain to us, René, what exactly is happening here this evening? Yeah, season five is finally here, and I'm super happy to say that, uh, because right now, eSports mode is unlocked for everyone worldwide on WC8, the game. And over here, we've got a quite a nice little invitational. It is a friendly competition, but a tough challenge, and I'm absolutely sure about that. And as you said already, it's about the golden ticket to go right through to the grand final later on this year. Perfect. I'm going to let you get into position over there, René, because uh, we're going to meet the driver very, very soon. I'd like to welcome them up. They're standing in the wings, uh, ready to come on. And it's Game of Muscle first up, I think, come through. You're looking fit, feeling confident? Um, I wouldn't say I'm totally confident, but I think if we avoid a few tree, one tree, hitting one tree and maybe off going off one cliff, that'll be acceptable. So a tree and a cliff and I'll be happy. Brilliant. I'd like you to get into position in uh, Sim 1 here, if you don't mind, and good luck. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best. Next up, we've got Alain from Team VVV. How are you doing, Alain? Looking forward to the competition tonight. You yeah. know, a little bit of practice, could do with a bit more, but I think it's going to be a tough challenge. There's been quite a day here in Monte Carlo for you today. It has. You know, there's always a wonderful atmosphere. There's a heritage to you know, automotive sport and with the real rally as well. It's wonderful to be here, to share the atmosphere and, of course, kick off this season of WRC Esports. Fantastic. Perfect. Well, if you can get into position as well, into Sim 2. Next up, we've got Super GT, Steve Brown. A new face here, a um, bit of a tarmac expert, but how do you fancy the WRC? I had a bit of a practice today. Um, it went okay. It's just the problem is, you know, making that one mistake can cost you so much time. So you've got to try and keep those to a minimum. So uh, you're probably more confident on the tarmac of Monte Carlo than on the gravel of Wales? Yes, the first stage, I'm, you know, all my hopes are relying on that one stage and then it'll probably all go downhill after that. <laughs> Brilliant. If you could kindly get into position for us as well, best of luck. And last up, Greek man, the old stager. I hope I uh, don't offend you with that, but you've been doing this for a very, very long time now. Yes, uh, the stages are long and uh, I will try my best. We will see. Good luck to you as well. Thank you. Right, if you could kindly get into position. We're nearly ready. I'm going to throw over to you, René, to set up stage one. Thanks, Sam. Um, yeah, we're over here in, uh, I will call it the commentary booth for now, for the Imitational. I said already, season five, that means uh, we actually did four years of esports that we see already. We have four champions, not four different ones, because obviously Nexel was the only, fun, uh, only one so far that managed to get a title twice. And for tonight, we got three stages. Uh, Monaco, then we head over uh, actually to Wales, and then we end up on an epic stage in Argentina. So that will be a tough challenge for everyone involved, especially since they're completely different formats, completely different rhythms the drivers have to tackle here to be quick um, on the virtual roads. And I'm just waiting now for you. What? Oh, it's great. Look, he can throw and then he can just appear in the picture. That's what you can do. It's great. 
Excellent. You ready? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go for it. Yeah, look, first stage will be Monaco. We will actually see the dynamic weather kicking in, which means uh, it, we will go to clear to snow storm. So in the beginning, everything seems to be fine. It's like great weather. You're enjoying the view. And then later on, you're basically cursing the entire thing because it will be hard to see. It will get slippery. Uh, there will be tarmac and there will be ice. Typical Monte Carlo rally, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Uh, so that will be interesting to see how they, they cope with the changes of surface and grip level. Absolutely. Col de Bruce, it's a classic stage. It's going to be a real challenge for all of the drivers. And as you say, classic Monte Carlo, changeable, how we like it. Yeah, it, it will be great because I, I really like that the rhythm is so important in, uh, in the real WC, just like as it is in the game, right? So we will see that later on in Argentina, where we have a very, very long stage. It's basically survival of the fittest, but we're on the starting line for our very first stage here in Monte Carlo. The Invitational for the Esports WC Season 5 is about to kick off. The guys go off from the line. We'll click, quickly look into the actual overlay. So you've got the rigs on your left and the overall time, and we will see those ghosts. They will always have the same color, so it will be easier for us to know who is who. Currently in the lead, that's Simracer 4, and Simracer 4 is Greek, man. He's coming from the WC community, basically a community member since WC games exist. He is he's the one, the dinosaur, I would say. I introduced him as an old stager. I hope he didn't take offense, but yeah, <laughs> a, a legend in esports. He definitely is. He was with us for the very first Esports WC final back then at Wales Rally GP for season number one. And I also saw him in Germany, that was season three. So he has been with us for quite a while. And I would say among these racers here, he has the most experience, but you can't, you can't rule out people like Super GT, who have a lot of experience in many different uh, racing games. And maybe it helps them here a bit. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, we can see already the changing conditions. Looks like dry tarmac now. They started on that uh, hard-packed ice off the line there. It's, it's just so patchy, isn't it? Every corner could catch you out in this stage. Now let's have a quick look maybe in, in the cockpit so you get a feeling for how narrow that is. Now they're on the ice, and you see that immediately all the grip is gone and drivers are struggling. This is uh, sim rate number two, uh, Alan from Team VVV, who tries to gain some time here two Greek men who's still up front. That was a good one. You saw that rotating the car at the right moment. It's very important later on in Argentina because if you don't rotate your car right, if you don't keep the tires spinning and, and it grips, it just understeers. You go out of the corner. Super crazy stuff. And into the sun. And this is called the Bruis. You climb up, then you dip down into the valley and into the trees, and it's going to get slippier and icier in there as well. Bright sunshine in the driver's eyes as well coming through here. Yeah, we've got all Great the cameras up, obviously. Let's see. Uh, number, like, third in the row right now is uh, G Gamer Muscle. So he's a bit off already of pace. You can see that. Minus 10, minus 5 seconds uh, to the leading two. And then all the way in the back, uh, we got Rick number three. That is Super GT. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, named it as one of the favorites, but he's getting closer to Gamer Muscle. But uh, slightly over rotating in those tight happens here while still being on the actual uh, snow. It's not easy to handle all these changes, but for Greek Man, it looks like it's actually working. They're working quite well here down in the, into the habits. Very neat hairpin coming down. Again, dry tarmac. This is the sunny side of the mountain. So uh, all the ice is thawed off. It's dried. At midday, so oh, ooh, oh ooh, it's a bit very of a unlikely spin. mistake here by Greek man. He caught off guard there by the stones on the side, and in the back we see Alan from Team BBB coming closer now, and it seems like he will yes. take the lead here on Rally Monte Carlo as they both dive at the same time into the happen. We saw the different styles here. Greek man was a bit more rotating the car, the rear slipped outside a bit more. Team BBB slightly on the narrower path there, but Greek man already back in the lead. Didn't take him long to get the lead back, did it, in fairness? Yeah, but uh, typical mistake in Monty. One wheel oh, off line onto the TV ice. is still in there. Alan is still hanging in. That's why we currently don't see his ghost here. Well, we see uh, Super GT and Gamer Muscle also coming into the segment of those tight happens. You basically go down the entire mountain. Yep, would be quicker to just jump down there, but it's not really a good idea. We saw that over all the years of WSC, 
better follow the road, but Ellen is still in the lead, and that is once again them both clipping uh, the wall. Let's quickly look at the Hyundai i20 that's piloted by Alan from Team VUV. He's locking on to Greek man in the back. That was uh, Gamer Muscle in blue in a rat. Uh, that, it's quite fitting for Super GT, actually. It was one of his channel colors on YouTube, if I remember correctly. This is the shortest uh, stage, from, if I remember that correctly. And we heard the drivers were like, OK, we'll focus on the very short one to be close to each other. And then later on, when we go on the epic stage in Argentina, Cantera, uh, what we'll see there, there it's all about surviving, making yeah. sure that the car survives the entire race. And uh, that, it's not really a thing here, Monica. You can go all out, basically, Ooh, just like Greatman exactly. does. <laughs> Overshooting the corner. Once again, it's Alan who goes through, but I think it will be quite quicker for Greekman to get out of that. So we see that on the helicopter cam. Obviously, we also got helicopters just like the real WC. And it's once again Greekman in the lead, but Alan is really close. Yeah, commentator's curse there. As soon as you say it, flies off into the corner. But I say, Greekman still ahead there. It's, it seems like he kind of got out of rhythm, right? We see him doing more and more mistakes. And it's, it's just hard. Something happens, you want to get into uh, the right rhythm again. But he finished first, and it seems like, yeah, Super GT is last. Gamer Muscle on third, and then on top, the two guys. It will be Greek men winning stage number one. And right behind him is Alan from Team VVV. Excellent. Right, I'm going to take these headphones off, and I'm going to go for a wonder and have a quick word with a Greek man. So bear with me. We'll come over here first to have a word with Greek man. Congratulations. One stage done, the perfect result, perfect start. Uh, I make mistakes in uh, the stage because I have a problem with, uh, I don't feel very good the brake and I lose the brake. For this, I have uh, two problems to exit in this stage. But uh, everything is okay, we will see. Great start, well done. Right, we've got uh, a special guest who is uh, sitting with us now. We're going to talk about all things steering wheel. And this is Thomas Yakamaya, CEO of Fanatec. And you produce these uh, incredible steering wheels. Talk to us about these steering wheels. Yeah, so um, basically we are... Um this is uh, one of our latest products, uh, the new RS330, uh, a round steering wheel which is uh, perfect for uh, sim racing, uh, together with the, with the handbrake and the sequential shifter. Um, that's um, yeah, what uh, what a proper simulation setup uh, should look like. And it's absolutely all important. I mean, it is the interface between the driver and the machine. So without a decent steering wheel, you've got no chance. Yeah. Well, um, that's obviously exactly like what we uh, want that people think. Um, but um, I mean, you you do have a chance if you are training hard enough uh, with probably any kind of equipment. But with a good equipment, it's just simply more fun. It's 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 more realistic and probably also it it makes you faster, more easy. Um, so um, yeah, so that's why why we are doing that. Brilliant. Thanks to see you here, and thanks for bringing these uh, Fanatec steering wheels. Absolutely brilliant. Right, it's time for us to move on with a second stage from Wales. It's time for Brennig, Renny. No, we're actually not heading to Brennig. We're doing DFP reverse. 73% of gravel and only 27% of asphalt. This time, it's the other way around. We're going from storm to clear, so... Uh, the guys can maybe relax a bit more on this 17.4 kilometer long run. This is an epic, the Dovey stage. Mid Wales, Elvin Evans is home stage. He lives about a mile away from this stage. So uh, yeah, let's get on it. And that, we're just lucky that this is virtual so you will not get annoyed by any sound, but I'm pretty sure that he currently isn't at home, I would say. Uh, should I be think somewhere he might else. be a little bit busy. Yeah. <laughs> on his way to the first stage of Raleigh Monte Carlo tonight. At least we hope so that he is, because otherwise that would be kind of weird. But what a first stage we had. I mean, still close. I said Greek man has all the experience, but but he had to see that there is someone among uh, this grid with Alan that can actually be close to him and that maybe could even be quicker than him if he does any mistakes. So uh, let's see 
if he's able to get back into the rhythm, uh, find a new way. He on gravel now, obviously, completely different, loose surface, way more slide. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is as different to Monte Carlo as it could be. We were on tarmac and ice, and we're going on to gravel in the forests of mid Wales. And here we go. Yeah, that reminds me of home. <laughs> <laughs> so you also live in the middle of nowhere. Is that what you want to tell me? <laughs> the Citroen on the starting line. Handbrake will be let off. And we're into stage a number two. See who gets the best start into sector one. It seems like Greekman had a great run once again off the start line. Currently in second is sim, uh, the Sim 3. That is Super GT. So it seems like a lot quicker than in Monaco early on while we see Gamer Muscle going off there. But look at how close they are right now. And look at how different this stage looks from the Monte Carlo stage. And uh, true to form, as you said, absolutely pouring down with rain. So uh, traction going to be at a minimum here. Super slippy conditions. I actually thought that this is a normal summer day for you. <laughs> that was what I was assuming. While we're on board with Alan once again, he is trying to force a mistake onto Greekman. And Greekman once again dropping some tires down the ditch there. That was an important thing to see. I, people, like the drivers, can see the ghost if they wish to do so. But they don't have to. Always see Blue going off. Blue, that was uh, some reason one gamer muscle tried to go really deep into that turn. And that was a bit too deep. Yeah, paid the price for that. So there'll be a penalty incurred for that. It's nine a seconds uh, that you get for going off track and then being basically resetted onto the stage. So we see Super GT all the way in the back with his young guy, but still connected to the rest of the guys. Game of Muscle and Blue right in front of him. And then up there, that is Allen. And we see Greek Man leading the charge here at the Wells Rally GB. Still raining, though. We see they struggle for traction. They want to get the power of those WC cars on the ground. They want to get traction. They want to get out of the corners as quick as possible. Obviously, WC8 featuring with all the rallies and all the cars of the official WC, uh, WC calendar and schedule. So a lot to choose from. And you see Wales is just what you would expect if you go on a road trip somewhere in the forest. Once again, it seems like Gamer Muscle now overtook everyone else. Like, Alan is down there. Oh, it's once again commentator's goes. I shouldn't say anything <laughs> about someone gaining ground because as soon as they do that, they just tend to lose out in the next corner. Now down a two second once again, that is Alan. But Alan seems to be far behind here, even though uh, the timing shows him different. You can see he doesn't have a penalty yet, I think. The rain seems to have stopped, but it's still a very, very wet surface. The graphics are so good. Unbelievable. If we, if we see the differences in driving style, basically like in the real WC, Creekman is so smooth. If you see him on the steering wheel, it basically looks like he has like a normal Sunday drive uh, to go uh, to the lake for a walk, maybe. But it is proper work. You need to listen to your co-pilot. You need to know what's happening on the stage. Now it gets very tight, and we go back onto slightly more floating corners and faster bits off the stage. But it seems like Creekman has everything under control, at least right now. Yeah, absolutely. Great start in Monty and an equally good run through Tevi Reverse as well at the minute. Oh, that we, that we saw when, as soon as you, you stop the tyres not rotating anymore, not making sure that they spin and you stall the car, there was a lot of time there. Here for Ellen in his Hyundai with Super GT. Still trying to get through. The car is slightly dirty by now. I mean, not really surprised if you look at where we are right now. Look how small everything is, how tight. Windy those corners, ah, oh, bit sliding around in the back, losing a bit of time there. And it seems like he can't really stay connected uh, to Allen and to Greek man here. Very unfortunate for the young Brit here. Gamer Muscle down to fourth after all the mistakes he did. Don't want to blame him here because it is hard. And I hope that he knows where the button is to turn on those wipers because otherwise soon he will not be able to see anything out of that windshield anymore. <laughs> that is a problem in Wales GB. A lot of use of wipers on Rally Wales GB. Now we got into the clear, so we can enjoy the scenery, seeing the Toyota of Greek men going through. He has quite a comfortable lead, 18 seconds by now, in front of Allen. 
So if, we, if it stays like that, then these two are probably the favorites, but everything can change and everything can happen on that epic stage later in Argentina because it has the most changes in flow and rhythm uh, for our drivers here today. And it will be very hard to get that golden ticket there. We see, oh, the Vipers in action for Allah, so he found them. That's good. Now he's clear view again. But look at Gamer Muscle. That was, we saw slightly those blue plates off his ghost. So it seems like he was able to be quicker than Ellen here. That's incredible, isn't it? Did you try yourself yet? I beg your pardon? Did you try yourself yet in the ring? You had a go no, I haven't had a go in one of these today. I haven't had time. But uh, as soon as we're done here, I'll be straight in the seat. <laughs> I'll see the, I see the fight coming up already because I'll jump into the other one and then <laughs> we get going here on Game the stage. On. Yeah, sure. Epic stage immediately so that you know what these guys need to go through. Because we, we hear that so often. Our sim race and they're sitting at home maybe or sitting in those ricks and they don't feel G-forces so it's a lot easier. I can tell you this is tons of work. After an eSports WC run at home, you go showering because you're, you're basically showering in your own sweat already <laughs> while hoping that the car survives what we see. Gamer Muscle, uh, not Gamer Muscle, T, uh, VVV Allen here going slightly bouncy over those crests everywhere in Wales. I mean, is that just how they build streets there? <laughs> These roads have been built specifically for getting timber off the mountain. <laughs> so that's what they're for, which is why they're so good for rallies. Look at them. So usually it's uh, forestry traffic on these roads, and the construction of them is perfect. But uh, for one week in October into November, the rally cars are in town, and we get to experience this. Incredible. But yeah, what you were saying about the amount of effort these drivers are putting in, and Nexel was saying about the practice 20 hours a week or more, at least, to keep at this sort of level. Incredible and commitment. I, we know he is great. He, he won season, uh, let me report, season two. Then season three, we had John Armstrong uh, becoming world champion. Well, Gamer Muscle once again struggling a bit here between the woods. But yeah, uh, he became champion in season uh, two. Then John Armstrong came back. Obviously, wasn't able to secure a cockpit back then in the WC or WC2. So he thought, hey, let's have a look at uh, eSports WC. He really got hooked, basically. Well, we'll see Gamer Muscle have been resetted. And then in uh, Season 4, both went for... Yeah, John Watt obviously wanted to be back-to-back -back champion. He managed to get into the Grand Final, uh, but it was Nexel that showed that he is the quickest, right now at least, uh, when it comes to the eSports WC. This year, completely different story. New chance for everyone, and as I said, right now, eSports WC is open for everyone out there. You can access the mode in the game, uh, do your times on the stages, and maybe you make it to the grand final later on this year. You go live to a rally and actually race for an amazing prize uh, for uh, Power Bar uh, Hyundai, as far as I know, once again for the next season. Yeah, certainly is. If you're sitting at home watching this and you think, I can do that, well, get involved. And you're right, it's the best prize in motorsport. Lurking from the forest is the Toyota Yaris of a great man. I said, this guy, uh, it's, it's up to him that I had to turn off all my notifications on Facebook because their WC fan group is amazingly active. These guys are posting about the real WC every single minute. They post about setups for the eSports WC. They discuss st uh, stages, different tactics. They share videos about how to uh, tackle uh, the challenges uh, on all these rallies over the entire calendar. So uh, he he's just a fundamental part of the game's community. And it's great to have him here once again, uh, racing for this golden ticket. Absolutely. And the sun's out. They're on dry gravel. Now you mentioned setup there. So can they go with a custom setup on this? Have, uh, have they set them up? Or are they all uh, on the same setup? I think they all guys? went for the same in the yeah. end. Uh, they could, obviously. They could also change tires. But no one, <laughs> no one really felt adventurous enough uh, to branch out there and try something new. Oh, there we see it's, like, it's, it's the typical moment of your co-driver saying, don't cut. And then you go too deep into the apex and you think like, oh, I remember you said don't cut. And then you're lucky if you make it out alive, basically, and the car is still running. Now back onto tarmac. A uh, four-hour leader, Janis Streetman, on a good way here towards the golden ticket. And with that, he would have a direct entry into the grand final. He doesn't need to run the entire eSports WSC uh, championship, which obviously saves some time, and it's a lot of time to actually practice for the grand final, but they don't know the stages yet anyway. <laughs> 
Well, they come in round the Great Orm here. This is actually the peninsula that comes out from Llandidno, which is where the final was last year. Spectacular tarmac stage to finish the rally in 2018. Now, we have been on uh, one of those rocks on last year's eSports final, because it obviously was at Wales Rally GP. Uh, we had a look at a real rally, so could really, like, breathe the real WC air. It was amazing. And um, I'm pretty sure the experience is part of why everyone wants to qualify uh, for the eSports WC finals, because you might end up on a very, very cool rally. It's not might end up, it's definitely. You end up on, uh, like, with a great experience and a great weekend in your life. But for that, you need to put some work in because competition is fierce, I can tell you that. Ooh. Oh, that's Gamer Muscle again. Yeah, tapping the wall slightly. Super GT behind him. Allen still on second. Some of the drivers choosing to ride along the, the pavement there. That uh, curb is actually very, very sharp granite stone, but the, the World Rally drivers do it for real. They make the wheel light get it up on the curb and then get the shorter line around the corner. It's definitely the quickest way, but high risk could easily puncture doing that. Super GT decided to be the bad guy here, running with all the mutt and dirt still on. But I don't want to miss Freakman going for his second stage win, it seems, while the helicopter follows him along the shore here in Wales. and seems like he was totally uncontested on this one. A little cross the line. Great time for him once again. Alan from Team VVV will probably be second. Will he, though? Because to me, he looks like third, because that right in front of him is Gamer Muscle, the blue ghost that we will see. And then all the way in the back, that is actually a Super GT. A bit struggling here on, in the Welsh Rally. So we'll see after the penalties, maybe. Yeah, it is Gamer Muscle coming in second. And uh, team, uh, team Ellen, I want to say all the time. Team VVV Alex, <laughs> he is on third. There we are. That's the second stage done. I'm going to stay right here because we're going to get straight into the next stage, if that's OK, Rene. I can't wait to get uh, into the action, but the perfect, perfect start for Griegman. It definitely is. I mean, he got the experience, but that is, what, 30 seconds between them. Might sound a lot if you're a circuit driver, but 30 seconds on a, on a long rally, that was 17 kilometers. Yep, they do longer rallies in the real WSC, but you need to kind of put that in perspective here uh, for the guys over there. What's the first strain now with concentration? Because the next stage, as soon as you see it, you know that this is basically hell on earth and we're not talking about the Nürburgring here. Let's get on it then. What have you got we're, for we're us just, next? We're just waiting to get into the lobby. Obviously, we can't really... Uh, Hurry up the countdown. I tried, worked some magic, but not gonna happen. A counter counts for me just the same as for everyone else, but we're soon there. And so then we're we going dive. in to this last stage. We do. It's all on Contera. for the golden ticket. Is your money on Greek, man? I would really like to choose someone else, but <laughs> I, it's unlikely that uh, Anon will do it here, I fear, but it's a very last, a long stage. We don't know if it might change. Just let me quickly check if everything is correct. We're doing clear in noon on Cantera. So ready to go. All the guys are in the lobby. They just need to click on being ready. Once again, breathe, concentrate, focus. You can see the focus in their eyes there. OK, they look like they're uh, setting up. Dressing Cantera is actually a bit shorter than uh, the uh, we were going to do in, well in yeah. Wales, but believe me, this feels ten times longer for the drivers. So so rough on these stages in Argentina. Narrow gravel. The rocks on these stages are absolutely unbelievable. The size of them to get through these stages uh, without a puncture is quite some feat. It could all change yet. Right, so, uh, uh, I mean, this time at least, they don't have to cope with the different uh, uh, surfaces. It's only gravel, but the first part of the stage is very narrow, a lot of hairpins. Keep the car spinning, keep it rotating, and then all of a sudden it changes to wider corners, uh, very long and floating sections, so you need to get into the groove once again, 
believing in yourself, really going, stepping on the accelerator, making sure that you're quick. And then Argentina's like, you know, now that you got both, let's just mix it up a bit uh, to really fool with you. And it gets even harder because the guys always have to adjust. They need to know what's the next segment. Can I really go all out? And sometimes there, you know, there, there's a gap to this, like gay to bridge. All these um, challenges that WSC normally throws at people, they're also here in WSC 8. And we'll see who does the best. We're just waiting currently for... Sim Racer 1, that is Gamer Muscle, uh, to ready up. And as soon as he is ready, we're about to jump onto Argentina. We are very nearly there. Here we go. Seconds away from the last stage. Who will win the golden ticket to the final at the end of the season? Here we go. Be quite a bit gap for Yanis, for Greekman, but he can lose everything here in Argentina on this brutal stage that we'll see now. This is the narrow second. Let's better jump into the cockpit to really see what's going on here. Look at this. There's stones everywhere, left and right to you. You don't know where to go. You can't really flick the car into a corner. You need to, you need to use the handbrake to throw around the rear here, especially otherwise you're basically understeering, falling off the cliff. But everyone did good so far. And it's Allen who's leading on Argentina. Griezmann only in third so far. So could this be a turnaround? Yeah, it could be. We've seen so many turnarounds on these stages in Argentina. Mina Clavero, El Condor. These stages always pull up some drama. So I'm, uh, I'm not hedging my bets on anybody yet. Like a train of super fast WC cars, they're going through this first segment of the stage. Now you see it gets a bit more open. We throw the hairpins. Not that, ma not as many stones, but it kind of rolls you into the thinking of, hey, I can cut this corner. And then all of a sudden, out of that grass, there's a huge stone saying hi, yeah. uh, goodbye. That's it. You might lose a tire. We got damage on while we see Super GT nearly going off track. That grip man currently last. So... got a cliff face on one side. Super and, uh, narrow bridge here. <laughs> we saw what happened to Elvin Evans on one of those bridges back in 2018. Missed out on his first win. Thierry passing him on this very stage. We like to call them the Lara Croft bridges. <laughs> yeah, caught the rear end. If you're not exactly online hitting those bridges, you've got no chance of getting through them without a knock. This stage is also very heavy on your eyes because you need to understand, is that a big stone? Is it a small one? Is it maybe a stone wall that's coming out of that grass there to decide if you can cut or not? But if we look at the gap that's going to be built up by Allen, it seems like he's totally dialed in here for Argentina while Greek men is still last. So keep on pushing, Allen. You might open the door here to your golden ticket right in Argentina. Oh! <laughs> and it's cursing again, they should just not say anything. Oh, he does the mistake there. Luckily, he was able to save that car. Now it's about calming down again, dunning in again, not losing the patience and concentration around the big stone here, down the hairpins, over a bridge once again. Look at how small that bridge is. Basically, that one car can fit. And uh, even though I'm a small person, I'm probably not fitting right next to the car there. I would just dive off the cliff. Who's second? It's Gamer Muscle right now, the Citroen. All in red here, going through those stones, slightly clipping it with the rear, but was able to catch the car before going over the bridge. Um, I'm pretty sure his heartbeat was basically uh, hyper, hyper, near 280 or something like that. Greek man now up to third. He knows from the timings on his left, he can see that where everyone is on the stage. He knows that he has to get going now, that he has to uh, take it on. And try to get closer to Allen because just one small mistake of Brinkman might cost him the entire win here at the Invitational in Monaco. Different surface again, cleaner here, no rocks. Lot, lot smoother here, opening up. Now view with Super GT here, currently in fourth. Blue, as I said, that is Gamer Muscle far ahead, and then the yellow, that is Greekman. 
Look at that. Griekman not really getting away from Super GT. He seems like he now got into the flow of driving a WC car once the underway on Tarmac, his private live for this competition, joining us on a gravel. Won't be an easy task for him to catch up, though, to this young man, to Gamer on muscle. He's leaning far outside on that corner in the Citroen, but still running strong, only eight seconds between him and Allen. And we saw how quickly you can basically demolish an eight second gap. We had that season season three in the esports that we see. It's so great that we can now look back at all these previous esports season. It was uh, John Armstrong leading and then uh, season four, by the way, I'm sorry. No, season three. All right, I was right. Uh, it was John Armstrong rolling his car. Well, he had everything in the back already. He thought he will be world champion. And then all of a sudden you rolled the car. Everyone was just silent. 20 seconds in the room back then at Rally Germany. While well, we see Griezmann going wide there, very wide, losing a bit of time once again to Griezmann. But yeah, John, he had to recover from that, had to get his car back on all four tires and then racing his heart out to have a chance here to win the title. Back then it worked for him. He became the eSports WC world champion, the first, uh, let's say, a physical WC driver becoming a virtual WC champion. And uh, let's see if he will remain the only one, because I saw quite a few drivers looking into eSports. Everyone here, obviously, they're racing with different cars, but they're racing in the same rigs or on play seat rigs with the beautiful Fanatec wheels that we saw and the quick interview with the CEO of Fanatec, all on the same equipment, the same chances for everyone. But we see back in the group here around three, uh, two, three, four, they're still fighting. Griegman side by side, basically, with Super GT. Just imagine this would be actually real cars and you couldn't drive through them, then there would be a lot of traffic. Uh, for them in uh, Argentina, but Griezmann's not really pushing up onto Allen. It's now, let's see, 13 seconds. Not sure how big his gap was, though, before going into this, do you know? Not, uh, not got the times updating here quite as yet. Yeah, do some maths here. Yeah, I think I've got the... On board with Allen, going downhill once again. Tie happen, really kept it clean there not over-rotating the car, getting the power down, and I say it, and he goes off. <laughs> like, if anyone wants to get rid of a specific WC driver, just get me into uh, commentating the real one. As soon as I say they do good, they probably do a mistake. So I'm open for offers from teams that want to have the championship this year. <laughs> but he's still leading. Lost a bit of time there, though. Car looks stable, down through the water. A bit on the windshield to get rid of that immediately look at this stage the stones a constant threat to the drivers they really need to keep their eyes open keep folks concentrated for such a long time i tried the stage myself today and it was 11 minutes obviously uh, they can be quicker i think world record is around nine minutes even though we probably won't see nine minutes today even though alan is in a good shape right now Greek man's all about Greek man right now. Does he do another mistake or can he catch up to Alan? Can he ensure his golden ticket for the grand final or does he lose it to the tall British man? And there he's clipping the rear once again. Super GT closing the gap, might even overtake him on this tie happens. Nope, it's Greek man that get a bit. Get, I, I, once again, I said something and he's not really getting through that corner. What's wrong today? It's like, do I hurt them? Is it my voice they're hearing and it really causes them pain? I'm not sure. Bart Greetman back behind the wheel, back in contention for this win. Game on muscle showing a strong performance in Argentina. Like, uh, Monte Carlo wasn't really his rally, but since we left Tarmac, it seems like it's really working. Okay, I think if my sons are correct, the gap coming into this final round from Alain was 37 seconds to Griezmann. So that's the time he needs to make back. Ooh, that is quite a lot, though. So what's the gap at the minute? I, I'm seven. not sure right now if we have to add all the times at the left, because that would be seven seconds plus 11 seconds plus 21. Then it would actually be possible. Yeah. Or if it's 21 to the leader, not quite sure right now. This will be an open one. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really surprised because I thought, okay, Griekman has this. He got the experience. He raced already at the Esports WC Finals. But Alan coming in here, 
tall man and just showing his pace. Normally he does reviews uh, on games and reviews on hardware uh, at Team VVV, but now he's behind the wheel for an actual competition. And he seems to like it and to really uh, yeah, show his potential here. Yeah, he said to me earlier that he was actually out of practice, but he's had a great day here today. He's obviously back and form, leading this last stage here. But can he do enough to catch the Greek man? Greekman is losing time once again. He's down to fourth now. And no matter if that's to at or overall, it's 24 seconds, 25 seconds. So it is, he's very, very close to losing this to Allen. So Allen's probably just pushing right now, riding the wave of his confidence right now here in Argentina. And you also look at those stones. You need to know if your car is small enough to actually fit underneath that, because otherwise you clip it with the roof, and then you get stuck like a bus in a tunnel in London, not really helping you, not making you any faster. But you can't take it easy now, Alan. You need to push, you need to keep going, because the golden ticket is awaiting at the finish line. But he's doing good so far, no mistake. Now, once again, opening the throttle wide, going as quick as possible, feelers through these last meters of the stage in Argentina. And there's crossing Ooh. the line there. 10.18, his overall time. Second on the Epic stage in Argentina will be Gamer Muscle. And then it seems like Super GT, so he needs to retire. Not sure, Greek man now down by 24. Let's see, he's crossing it. This might be a very, very close one here. We have to wait for the overall results to get to us to know if it will be Greek man or Alan to go through to the grand final. I think Greek man has just done enough. Oh, it's 43 seconds. That's, that wouldn't be enough, right? How, how many seconds I do you think, have? I think he needed to be within 30. So, uh, Alan, Team VVV may just have nipped it on the very last stage. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you're looking at Super GT right now. Super GT is race of three. So, race of four, that's okay. Greek, man. It's 25 seconds. So, there might be a five second gap, basically. I think Greek three man has done it. Wow. I'm going to go over and congratulate him as we speak. Yeah, take the microphone. I think you've done it there, Greek man. You left it down to the last one. It wasn't quite the final stage you'd wished for, but I think you've done enough. It is the first time I play this uh, stage, so I go uh, safety. Uh, and uh, it's more beautiful to, to take a risk, and uh, there is a little competition. Like now, we're waiting to the finish to make uh, mathematics to find uh, who is the winner. Brilliant. Well, you've won a golden ticket to get into the final, which will be at the end of the season. So from all of us here, if you can get up shortly, we're going to have to say goodbye to you immediately. Your winning ticket is right there. And uh, what a start it has been. A golden ticket to the 2020 eSports final. Congratulations. Greek man, and from all of us here, what a start to the eSports season. We'll see you next time. Till then, goodbye.